welcome back to another video. So as you can see in today's title, we're going to talk about how to do a 401k rollover into your Charles Schwab account. And that's just the one that I have. So this is the one that I'm used to rolling, you know, prior company 401ks over into. If you have something else other than Schwab, then definitely look into the instructions for how to move it into that brokerage account. Um, or just give them a call, you know, they always uh, are willing to help you and there's always like a 401k rollover transfer department that you can, you know, definitely talk to and you can definitely get some answers from. Um, but in this case, this video is mostly for Schwab and how to move it into your Schwab IRAs. Um, so that's one of the first things is, uh, you know, before you even get started into all of this, just make sure that you do have uh, Charles Schwab IRAs already set up before you start the transfers and, you know, calling your former employer's 401k plan to do a transfer. So that means that you need to, if you have a, a traditional 401k, you need to have a traditional IRA set up to then transfer over. And then similarly, if you have a Roth 401k, then you also need to have a Roth you know, IRA already set up to, to make your transfers easier. This is for tax purposes. Uh, and I'll get into my personal situation in like two seconds. Um, but basically that is what you need to do first, just because then it's pointless if you're gonna call them and then you're like, oh, I don't have an account number. Well, then now they're gonna have to, you know, start all the way over from scratch and you'd have to, you know, start that whole process of, you know, opening the accounts and then call them back most likely to then do an actual transfer. Um, okay, so that's one of the first things you have to do is look up your account number um, and for both your whatever IRAs that you have. So for me personally, right, I just left my job recently going to a new job. Yay, congrats, go me. Um, I needed to make sure that I have with my current employer, uh, the 401k plan was through Fidelity. So I had a traditional uh, 401k, meaning, you know, the money comes right out of, uh, or actually doesn't, in my pay, it does not get taxed. So it's not a part of my net, it's part of my gross. So that's a traditional uh, 401k uh, when that's taken out. But then I also had Roth IRA taken out. So, you know, I get my pay, the taxes come out, and then in my net is taken out the Roth um, everything after taxes. So I had both. So in that case, I also have, so that was my 401k plan through Fidelity. I also have at Schwab, I have a traditional IRA and I have a Roth IRA. So that means that I wrote down my, uh, traditional IRA account number and I wrote down my Roth IRA account number. So that way, when I called Schwab, uh, or sorry, when I called Fidelity to do the rollover, I already have my account numbers all set up to go from, you know, my plan has a, my plan is the traditional and the Roth uh, 401k. I can then move all my traditional 401k money into my traditional IRA. And then I can move all of my Roth 401k money into my Roth IRA. Um, this is the second time now that I've done this. I've actually done this in the past at a prior company like three, four years ago. Um, so I, I had done that as well. Um, and it's very simple, very easy. And again, we're going to get into that. Um, but with that being said, yeah, I had to write down my account numbers. So that way on each of those two checks that they're going to mail, they're going to um, have the uh, traditional IRA account number on one and then the Roth IRA account number on the other. So what I did to start, um, I called up Fidelity because that's again where the plan is. And then I just let them know, hey, like I have, you know, I, I just recently left my job. Um, my employer, you know, uh, should have, you know, basically like closed out like me contributing to my 401k. Um, I would like to roll it over into a different um, brokerage, like a different firm's uh, accounts. So they said, okay, yep, no problem. Um, we'll get that going for you. By the way, I just did all this today. So it's pretty fresh in my mind. And I, ju I just did this. So um, they said, okay, like, let's get the account numbers and you have who you want the check to be made out to. And, uh, and they just asked those kinds of questions. So 
Uh, I said, yes, like I have a traditional uh, IRA and I have a Roth IRA where these different, you know, funds are gonna go to. They said, okay, great. Um, who would you like the check to be made out to? And so in this case, you put, uh, you tell them, because this is what Schwab's instructions are to tell your um, outgoing 401k plans uh, firm, you tell them, you make it out to Charles Schwab and Co. Inc. And then comma FBO, which stands for for benefit of, and then your full legal name. So that's who the check needs to be made payable to is it's made out to Charles Schwab and Company Inc. FBO, your name. So that just means that it's basically like they are the custodian of your money. You know, Schwab is a custodian of your uh, brokerage accounts, of your IRAs. Um, so that means that they, it needs to be made out to them so they can deposit it on your behalf into your account. And then on the memo line, if you can ask your outgoing uh, you know, 401k plan to put the account number specifically on like the memo line of the check. If you have just like one check, whether it's just a, uh, a Roth uh, 401k or just a traditional 401k, um, ask them to do that. In this case, Fidelity said that they cannot. So uh, this is the second thing I was going to mention, but you should generally have the mailing address also of Charles Schwab um, be put as the address of where the check is gonna to go to. So again, for benefit, so two check made out to Charles Schwab and Company Inc. for benefit of your full legal name. On the memo line, you put the account number of that individual account that you're going to, whether it's the traditional, whether it's the Roth. In my case, I have two checks, one for the traditional, one for the Roth. Um, and then from there, you can, at, I've been able to in the past, m not with Fidelity, had the check be mailed directly to Charles Schwab. And like they, Charles Schwab asks you to ha have it mailed to them. Fidelity said they cannot. So it's gonna be mailed directly to me and then I'm just gonna throw it in like a white envelope and I'm gonna mail it to Schwab like on my own. Um, in this case, like Schwab rollovers, they, it looks like they have you send it to Nebraska. So I think that they have like, uh, like a lockbox in Nebraska where these will just get scanned into for, you know, 401k rollover specifically. Um, but in any, any case, usually I've been able to have the company themselves, the outgoing 401k plan, mail it directly to Schwab for me. This is the first time I think that I've actually had to do it uh, on my own. So that is what it is. Um, no big deal, I guess. But yeah, so, and then I'm also, they actually cannot, at Fidelity, they told me they cannot write the uh, account number in the memo line for me. So on my traditional one, I'm gonna write my traditional IRA. On my Roth one, I'm gonna write my Roth IRA number. And then that's gonna be that. Um, but that's it. Like basically, you know, they read you like a tax disclosure, like just basically telling you that, you know, you're aware of like all the tax implications if you were to like cash these out on your own and not roll them over and, you know, legally or um, legally you're allowed to like move them into like, again, a tax deferred account, AKA a traditional IRA. Or if it's already been taxed that you can, you know, roll it into a Roth IRA as well. I think you have like, don't quote me on this, but I think you have like 90 to like 180 days to actually get like your, your checks uh, deposited. Otherwise it's gonna be considered uh, taxable income because it's like you're, you're holding on to it. Um, so keep that in mind. But yeah, they sent me like a tax disclosure and then they sent me like a text in an email confirming that I wanted all this done. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, it really didn't take that long. It was maybe like a 15 minute phone call. These companies all have like a 401k transfer rollover department. So no big deal. You can definitely get, um, you can definitely get that done pretty simple. Um, and yeah, just, uh, I, I highly recommend, this is the last thing I'll leave you with. I highly recommend you do actually, uh, roll over a 401k as soon as you leave your old company, um, even if it's like, you know, even if my old company had like a Charles Schwab 401k and then I have, I have, a, I have a Charles Schwab like account that I'd be rolling it over into, I would still recommend not just leaving the 401k where it was because years from now, if I ever forgot about it, I would hate to lose out on like all that money and just sat there like, um, 
you know, without me knowing that it was there. Um, so that's one of the things I want to leave you with. And then another thing I want to leave you with is make sure that when you do roll it over into, um, you know, your new, your new or your current uh, IRAs, whether traditional or Roth, make sure that you invest the money. So when it comes over to you uh, via a check, that's like just getting any other check from, you know, your grandma for your birthday in the mail. It just sits there in cash. You actually have to do something with it. So with that, you can check out my next video all about, hey, what are some ideas for things you can uh, invest in when you have a 401k rollover or transfer done? Uh, because that's the second step of this. You have this money now. You have to put it right back into doing something like it was when you had your 401k. You know, it was invest invested in a number of different mutual funds. You could have picked whatever your company had to offer. Um, so with that, though, that's really, really important because otherwise it's just going to sit there. Uh, but I do, again, strongly suggest moving any money out. My personal opinion, what I've always done, I've always moved company, uh, old company 401ks into my rollover IRAs. Um, just so I don't forget about it and I control it and I know where it's going and I know just exactly where it is. Um, so I can't suggest that enough. This is how I personally have done things. Um, but again, we have to figure out what exactly you want to invest that in or the possibilities of investing that in. And we'll talk about that in another video, but hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you guys soon.